After the end of the battle against demons and Muzan is over, Tanjiro and his friends get to enjoy their happy ending for a short while before the story heads towards the future in the final chapter, to show us what life is like 100 years later for the descendants of the characters we've followed so far. It starts with Kanata Kamado telling his brother Sumihiko to wake up because they have school, and instantly you notice that Kanata looks like Kanao, with Sumihiko looking like Tanjiro, making these two the great-grandchildren of our main characters. From there, we cut over to the Agatsuma household of Yoshiteru crying as he reads his great-grandchildren dad's book titled The Legend of Zenitsu, with his sister Toko kicking him in the back telling him to stop wasting his time in these fairy tales about demons, telling him that he'll bring shame to their ancestors if he fails his exams. And this is where Zenitsu and Nezuko's descendants bring up the theory that everyone from back then has been reincarnated and gets to live a happy life. And in the next part, we'll wrap up the story of Demon Slayer and tell you who got reincarnated.